There are three dimensions of accessing the power of God in this kingdom. Maybe I'll wrap up with it tonight. Number one is the dimension of God's power and grace that comes through encounters. Direct encounters with God. When you have a solid encounter with the God of the Bible, there is a dimension of power that is given to you as a token, as a reward for your press for meeting him. Now, the highest level of spiritual power that can be given to a man comes through that platform. Please listen carefully. Are we together now? That when a man so presses beyond all the distractions and eventually you are able to touch the heart of God in a way that causes him to reveal himself to you. The law is found in Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. And you shall seek me, he says, and find me when you search for me with all your heart. That means if you don't find me, the diagnosis is that something in your heart is not seeking for me. The jealousy of God mandates that all of you is directed towards him for you to really find him. Are we together? Yes, sir. So encounters. What is an encounter? An experience that makes God real. An experience, generally speaking, that furnishes the reality of whether a person, an idea, whatever it is to you. When you have, it doesn't have to be a visionary, in, in a visionary way. But the assignment of an encounter is to create conviction. Without encounters, the saints will not have conviction. But I know whom I believe. Not just that I believe him, I know whom I believe and I am persuaded. It is on the strength of encounters that the apostle can say, what shall separate us from the love of God? It's not a memory verse. It's a product of an encounter. Please listen to me. You must trust God for the grace to press to when one encounter with God will answer many prayer points at once. There are many, many kinds of prayers you will not pray again when you really have an encounter. One of my dear people will always say that when you have these encounters, it will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life. Everybody say encounters. You must desire encounters with all your heart. There are certain dimensions of anointings. For a generation, no, it will come through encounters. And can I tell you this? Sincerely, when it comes, it has come. It will be clear that the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha. If you are still doubting and hoping it's there, or it's not, it's, then it means it's not there. Number two, very quickly, the second platform that affords us the opportunity to receive the unction and the possibilities to demonstrate the might of God in this kingdom is the mysteries or the principles of the kingdom, such as what I'm teaching you now. There is a dimension of the power of God invested in these principles. You don't have to believe him to access it. You just, it is controlled by knowledge and understanding, not intimacy. You don't, intimacy is not a condition to receive power at that level. It is knowledge and understanding. So I can ignore the God of the Bible and through the humility and meekness, I can learn from people who have found these patterns. They may not admit the God who delivered it like the secular, the business principles they used to excel, the leadership principles, these are all principles. If it ever works, it's because there is God in that equation. Now, they may not desire an encounter with that God, but understanding has brought them to a point where they are able to walk those principles. And there is a dimension of his power invested in principles. If God forbid not to play with your mind, but if a terrorist decides to sow in rainy season, 
the soil, the earth will not refuse to produce because there is a pattern. The power of God has already been, in, it's already invested in that. Are, are we together now? Yes. Someone can be insulting God and still have a child after nine months because there is a pattern. Are we together now? Someone will insult God before he goes to bed and wake up in the morning and keep insulting again because there is a pattern. It is the second level. The key to receiving at that level is not intimacy. The key to receiving at that level is understanding. Are we together? The third platform is called covenant alignment. Let me explain it. The third platform for receiving power in this kingdom is called covenant alignment. Please say covenant alignment. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. We have to round up. Listen. Look at me. Do you know the way God advances his kingdom, pastor, is that when God wants to introduce a dimension of his possibilities to a generation, he finds a man. Everybody say a man. Amen. Not man. He finds a man and enters a personal covenant with that man through the sacrifice of alignment. He enters a personal covenant with that man. Are we together now? That covenant becomes the legitimate authorization for God to reveal that dimension of him in the earth. And for as long as that man is alive, any other person who must host that dimension of God must be able to do it in alignment to God and that system he has created.